Hidden in Tasmania's remote and wild southwest are the biggest flowering trees in the world, the mountain ash. Just to be inspired, be awed. It's a wonderful thing to, to look up and be humbled and to be dwarfed by something this big. Brett Mifsud has travelled to Tasmania for 30 years to find, document and measure the size and health of the state's largest trees. He fears this could be the last generation of giants. Now that these trees are protected in reserves, the biggest threat to them is fire. And the fire frequency and intensity in Tasmania has been increasing. Intense fires are uncommon in these wet forests, with the biggest trees avoiding damaging bushfires for 500 years. But the climate is changing. There are drier, hotter summers, there are less frequent rain events and more frequent incidences of dry lightning. In 2019, those exact conditions led to catastrophic fires in Tasmania's southwest. If fires are too frequent, for instance, if there's a fire every 10 years and the new crop can't get to maturity, this species can actually disappear from that particular landscape. So here we are at the top of an old growth eucalyptus regnans tree. This tree is about 500 years old. I'm at around 55, 60 metres up. Let's have a look at a few of the features. Brett estimates 17 of the largest trees in Australia, or found in Tasmania, have been destroyed by fire. Victoria has already lost all of its giant mountain ash. Through land clearing, through logging, but mostly incredibly damaging fires that have occurred since about 1850. Tasmania's Parks and Wildlife Service says it prioritises protecting giant trees during fires. But Professor David Bowman wants a management plan to be developed, similar to plans made for another giant tree, the North American Sequoia. They are having crews to remove fuel, wrap trees in foil, irrigate if necessary, because they are absolutely of huge value. It isn't just giant mountain ash that's at risk. Stringy bark and blue gum also bear the immense weight of climate threats. The Tasmanian government considers a tree giant if it stands over 85 metres tall or exceeds 280 cubic metres. Professor Bowman believes there's only 15 trees of this size left. And there are some practical measures we can take to save these things and if we don't take them, they are going to die. The future of Tasmania's last giants now resting on decisions made today. Clancy Barlin, ABC News.